Well, we're down at Peel, and it's uh, next in the marathon, <laughs> literally, of what we're covering here, of course, is Christian going around doing uh, all these 19 different ones. Anyway, that's another interview but with me, Melanie, because we're talking about the Manx Solidarity Fund. You're in, much involved in this, I know you're a trustee, and obviously Christian's doing this for that. And how's it going is really the question. I want to find out how, what's going on. Thanks, Paul. Lovely to see you. Thanks for coming down and supporting, and thanks to all the media. Um, Christian's had amazing support. It's going so well, far better than um, certainly he imagined and we imagined when we first started talking. Um, but it's kind of captured the nation, hasn't it? Captured um, people's spirits. I think it's great to have something positive and a sporting event to look forward to each day. And he's a machine. What can I say? He's, uh, he's running every day. He's out for number 13 today. Yeah. And he's done a fair few miles in that time, hasn't he? And he's done good, good timing as well, which yeah. is good. 314.4 miles under the belt so far and yeah he, he was his run yesterday was faster than his pre previous three runs so looking really strong well we'll talk to him in a moment when he turns yep. up but i want to talk to you about the fund how's it going it's going really well paul thanks i mean we've obviously been established very short while only a few weeks but we've got a really really great team um from the community for the community it's a business initiative that's been put together very quickly but we're a registered charity now and um we've split into groups and there's um you know really good management and teamwork going on all over zoom of course and we're already paying out. We've raised um, over 300,000 so far, and we are paying out to causes already, which is great. It's actually really humbling, and the reason we're all involved, and I know the reason Christian's involved, which is spurring him on, is that we're paying out to causes already, which is good news. I know there's other things in the pipeline, more donations are, are, are coming in. In fact, there's going to be a secret one we can't really talk about until it happens on, the, we'll cover it in the next interview with Christian, which is great. So yeah, it, so it, excited it's about the one today. We've got a really big, chunky donation coming in today, which is fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, hoping to surprise Christian with it now and uh, give him a boost middle of the week this week. Can you give an example of some people that are receiving money from your fund and, you know, and also how people can donate? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, the fund has been set up for individuals who are really struggling with hardship and that is quite humbling to read some of the stories. So, um, yeah, you know, possibly a single mother that's lost a job um, who's really struggling to put food on the table. Um, through to businesses, different initiatives, medical initiatives, helping the hospital, um, businesses you know helping them to be sustainable they may not meet the criteria so we're supporting the government criteria for whatever reason they may not meet the criteria and need urgent cash flow you know to keep um, employment going so um, yes please continue to to donate to donate to christian directly through his just giving page which is on our manx solidarity website or to donate directly in particular if there's any corporate donations donate directly is fabulous every penny goes to worthy causes everybody in the fund uh, who are involved are volunteers and website best place to go is it manxsolidarityfund.com yes thank you